have to make a decision. Not civil servants. No, because we want here, legal, you are, you we are want like, legal guidance. You are like a speaker of parliament. You cannot raise a matter to the speaker and then he says, call me the director legal. It cannot happen. I think, I think now you are battling, Honorable Semuju. Why, why, why? Should you come quietly? Okay, okay, so I think that the only problem, I think the way Honorable Semuju to the minister has even upon us uh, to present his supplementary um, uh, uh, expenditure uh, appropriation bill tomorrow, he should also make note that we are seeing money to National Council of Sports for 152 billion for OIMA, yet OIMA is being considered Honorable in the Mara. financial year 2024-2025 budget. Honorable Mara. Yes. We are not discussing okay. any issue which is not there. Chair. On the consistency. Yes, you are very right. So, we shall need documents to be circulated first before we go into it. And the minister brought to talking notes the other time for this, but they are very, very... They say budget in Utah, they require no additional funding. Because you see, the only says, if they ask you to come to parliament dressed in a, in a jacket, you cannot say, but it was very hot here, I did not need a jacket. That's the requirement. For me, the requirement is that you bring a certificate. All the things you have said can actually be, be the certificate. But the certificate must be brought. And all, all the answers you have given me, please put them in a certificate to say this is a uh, backward looking, therefore the expenditure is zero, and, and so on and so forth. But you cannot say that you, you will by yourself remove this requirement, every, every bill. So if people who made this law are stupid, they made it. I said if they were. Then you will seek to improve the law like you have done. Actually, this law has been amended before. So, Chairman, uh, I think it's going to be very difficult for this committee to, to process this bill that does not meet the legal requirement. Well, that's, that's what is stated. How do you, how, the lawyers here, how do you call uh, a requirement which is really redundant? Uh, something that actually doesn't give you, that's non nonsensical. Because when we... And to inform the country how that bill is going to be implemented and what the resource envelope will be. Because it says the certificate of financial implication issued under subsection 1 shall indicate the estimates of revenue and expenditure over the period of not less than two years. It's forward looking. Not less than two years. If you are bringing a bill, how are you going to implement it? Give us the cash outlay for the next two years, not the minimum of the next two years. So I think uh, by implication, this uh, supplementary appropriation bill, at, it, at any one stage, when the minister appeared before the house, he actually indicated the source of revenue for every bill. And uh, we proceeded to supply and, appro and approve it based on the information given at that material time. I think the requirement that this was the law is not, the intention of the law is not, is in, with, with respect to this bill, is not uh, backward looking. Actually, it's not backward looking. So, okay. whereas it's not provided in the law, we can proceed to process this. Okay. Purposefully, as a you know, Okay, okay. Honorable Samuju, I know there's somebody confusing you behind there. Uh, there is somebody pushing you for nothing because there, 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 is a, there is somebody there. I'm not saying you are confused, but there's somebody trying to confuse you behind there. Please. Please. Stop that. He did not read the four. 
because the impact on the economy will be standard. If you borrow the money, for example, you cannot tell me that whether it is forward or backward, that there was no impact on the economy. This particular supplementary, we borrowed it to finance it. And the section says, it lists what the vice chair has said, but it also says the impact of the bill to the economy. So you mean this bill affected the economy? That is, that, that is section you have said the last is, 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 is closing all our arguments. It says it's a deemed. But let's also accept that this, these laws are also supposed to be addressed together with the substance. You must have the substance of the action. Honorable Minister, these laws, the legal things are there, but the substance of the actions must be there. Yeah, he will check whether they applied it according to the approvals. Yes. Of UDC would not even arise when it has been raised. UDC. The issue of your UDC would not arise in the manner in which it has been raised. Had the minister uh, complied, but it's not late, Honorable Minister, we request you, UDC was established by an act of parliament. Give it a vote so that it is independent self-accounting and can implement government program. Okay. So you can hold it accountable. Okay, they will decide, take a decision. They will go and do that. Okay, Honorable Minister, you can take leave. We expect you, Honorable Minister, back in the afternoon with whatever adjustments you are making to the next... Colleagues, we have exhaustively sought for legal advice and we have also probed the advice until we have found a conclusion. The advice is based on the laws of supplementary, processing of the supplementary budget. A supplementary budget, as per the legal laws, is the business of the whole house. The whole house can only delegate it to the budget committee to do the processing on their behalf. Or the whole house can process it. Yeah. Now that the house, this letter of supplementary request is dated 13th May 2024. And when you look at all those days from 13th to date, the house has not sat. It therefore means that this one has not yet become business of the house. And as such, there is no way the house could have delegated it to this committee to handle it on their behalf. As such, as such, now, Honorable Semuji is on anticipation <laughs> of what I'm going to... As such, it will be illegal for this committee to start processing this supplementary request until it becomes business of the House. And then the House will decide either to process it there or delegate it to this committee. As such, Honorable Minister, thank you for coming. I really apologize for inviting you prematurely. So, <laughs> We shall advise you to take it to the house and then the house will decide the way forward. Either to sort it there and then, if you can go there ready to process in the whole house, let it be if they refer to this committee, then you shall expeditiously handle it. Thank you very much. But Honorable Minister, you can greet these members. Honorable Lulu Mebaiga, for finance, Honorable Musashizi, being a senior member of the House, you should not repeat this way of doing things again. Thank you very much. Which are taking up team has gone through. Honorable Semuju. Yes, yes, yes. In fact, they should go. National Council of Sports, thank you for coming.
you go and uh, do talent identification and development. But you also play so that your tummies don't lead us to non-communicable diseases. Thank you very much. There are problems, many problems with this particular supplementary. If you read the law, when you are passing a budget, including a supplementary, entities are supposed to present parliament procurement plans. These procurement plans are supposed to be scrutinized because they can be detailed. Where you are going to spend uh, 260 billion, you've, you've got to go through procurement plans. But to, if you look at this supplementary, it does not indicate what is development, what is recurring. It's a transplant, I think, from someone who's head into a request. And then, to make matters worse, it had illegally come to the committee, it had sneaked to the committee. And then the chair was saying, you know, the speaker, because the speaker can only refer a document that has been brought to parliament. So this uh, casual way of looking at public business, that someone sends a letter to the speaker and the, the speaker sends the letter to the budget committee, must also stop. But also, a supplementary one month to, to the closure of the financial year. Because you see, the reason you are issuing a supplementary is that you are going to deal with this matter that you cannot deal with in the next budget. No procurement plan, but even if the plans were there, you mean these fellows are going to spend 200 billion in, in, in 20 days? I don't know what has happened to Uganda. That these fellows can sit every day and originate a supplementary. But I have been told, when they were in cabinet, the budget kept growing up to 61 billion. Then they said, what do we do? You remove things that are emotional that MPs will pass without scrutiny because you have had MPs shouting a Kibua stadium, what stadium? So they say this one is you can smuggle them to parliament through a supplementary because they know they are popular. We have AFCON, we need to construct uh, facilities. But really, <laughs> and these, these guys are intelligent, they are school. You don't follow the law, you don't follow the, the, the procurement. So really, I am waiting to see how Parliament will fidget with it tomorrow. <clears throat> yes, the supplementary request was uh, sent to the committee. However, on scrutiny, we find that the committee can only process business of the house that the house will have chosen to refer to the committee instead of handling it as a whole house. So on looking at the communication of the supplementary, we found out that it was communicated on 13th and the supplementary budget is solely business of the whole house. Therefore from 13th when the request was authored, the house has not yet sat. And since the house has not sat, it means the house has not handled that business. And the house has not considered it right to refer to the committee. Therefore, the committee was incapable of processing the supplementary request placed. We understand you have a communication from the speaker. Yes, the communication is there from the speaker to process. And that's why we are saying we cannot just go by communication. It will still remain handling something that the House has not handled. The speaker is not the House. The speaker leads the House. And where you, by common sense, you are aware that the House has not sat, then you will be handling what you should not be handling.
creative and hand but there is a different direction of communication to the world. Because you, you know the law that guides that. So did it come to take it across to the community to decide? We don't, we don't cram the law. We, get to, we cross the bridge when we get to it. So, once something comes, we must sit. The chair doesn't become the committee. It's the committee which takes a decision. So, when a communication has come to the chair, the chair has to bring it to the committee. At the time of discussion of the committees, when we arrive at a conclusion. Can you tell us about the budget? When should we expect it? And uh, what's there so far? To expect it where? To be ready. Tomorrow, Thursday. We expect it to be ready tomorrow and supplied and approved. How do you see it today? What should we expect from the hill? We have not yet concluded. We don't want to serve what we have not, what's not ready. We shall be discussing in anticipation, whereby we also have a rule which prohibits us discussing things in anticipation. Thank you. <laughs> Amateka gonega menya. Eteka liga amanti budget committee. Okutunulire nyongere za mbudget parliament yewe jira gide. Kutubuza chia maninga ga speaker yanda gide. Ni speaker na ya fukibu wa mateka. Engeji tunuri ya mwe mtu yunganga ya kuzanya. Speaker ateko kutuza parliament. Ile mwini ndi ya jimu batu hita. Ni waganti walu wa mate. Muje speed. Ni wali wakabaji soma nilio kwa gena mkomiti. Enezebu zi. Bobo gena kuhisa sente zo nakati teka wa public finance. Bate kukula gavi chibi ya zigendo gula poruchu wa menti plan. Ngeleva zite miete miebulu unji, zino za kukula mitaimbu, zino za kukula chi. Ate erote kukula gavi. Ezina sasa njizi wa kumisara, nezina koze siwa mkugula wakati ngoku zime visa wa wase minti wabachi. Yonate babiraga. Olia haibu kayalo wase bulosi. Kuka we unya, nti tuke na kuzima visa hawe. Chichiche wa sinzi deko gamba nizi 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 tugendo kusasa anje. Chiwata ita mpala meni. So, eteka tiwali gomerede. Nebili alibili mateka ngo kuraga. Ezine bezigeno kutipabili aze. Kati mpuli na ntiwe batu de mkabine. Nga budget ya musebe ni wuna kuekula. <coughs> ya tandikira kutuyo ni abili mubili. Atano mubili. Atano musatu. Atano munana. Nkaga kati wange iliku nkaga muemu. Ni waganti musokole mwe bintuwe bimu, mugende mubise mparlamenti, kasaba kawera ngababi wagira. Evi ya visawe wade wa wogana nyumu visawe katia vyo kwe kubileta. Kubange, sende ze baleta, ze nongo sileza mbajit. Nga obude, no mwezi te kuchawele no budget ye gweko. Evi bintuwe wagendo kwesa wagenda bigula diyo. Manjinti evi bintuwe ya government mmateka, osoka kumala kuranga maulire. No ranga, nti hawa nazimbe chisawe. Awa ni wali okabale tebi wandiko. Ni wagena mkomiti, nezitula, eza kontrakti, eza achi. Chinzo kutuwa alira government. E banga. E chitono nyumye zingee sato kuhita mwibino. E teka liga amba yubi yubi inagena mbudget. Neba vi sima nchi wageza kukufera. It's going to be very difficult for anyone to absorb this money. Because the government procedures intended to protect uh, taxpayers' money are very, pro they, they are two procedures, they are two, they are two many. In the remaining 20 days or one month to close the financial year, you cannot fulfill any of the requirements. I don't know why, but as I said, I think their intention, because the budget is growing too big, some of the things they want to bring them this way, so they are not part of the budget. Because this budget that you are closing in three weeks' time, how can you still be passing money to finance the same budget? But it's just a tactic. How much? government nga gosa mu nkola mateka katojja kwesiba ne wajja kuwa yonna kunga toli mu government kati olu ogendo kujukira nti kino nakola chachi kwange teka litege bosoma section 78 79 80 za public finance and management act zigamba nti buli 
mukozi wa government amenye teka lino ye ngo muntu ye ngo muntu agena kuvunaniwa so kati bano bebayisa mu bino beta mu parliament bete kekera misango jina abaluma mu bukade